Hey, 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 this is Boat Doctor. And, oh, we got sous chef. Look at him. He, look at that black shirt. He could be a chef. I think he is a chef. He's the, the master tech, we call him. I could say the mass, the head masturbator, but no, oh, oh, I can't say that no. on this. That, oh God, I could get in trouble over that. But he does, he does all our bait lines, went out oh, tuna yeah. fish and stuff. He's good. The best. He's the best, you hear him? That's why we call him, I guess, head I'm baiter. The lead rigger. Lead, oh, better yeah, than I'm that. Lead rigger. No, That's lead, official title. rigger supervisor. Yeah. Anyway, this is a 2021, uh, 27, 2750 center cab. I like the color actually. It's really nice. Uh, got the ladder here. Got the active three and one. You got a set of twin 200s. Left hand curve. That's left hand rotation. Right hand. That's right hand rotation. Uh, running a 14 by 15 Yamaha. They're good props. That's the ones you want to run on these because the vibration gives you more power. You got the trim tab. You got a 99 high thrust remote. And you got the cable steer, which is cool. That's better than the tie bar. You really don't need anything on these with those things push. These will do the steering for you. There's your cable instead of that quick release tie bar. Stainless steel prop shaft, drive shaft, uh, two coats of clear, two coats of primer. The main special is 3066 or 6066 uh, silver paint. Same thing here, zinc on every cylinder. That's an inline four, inline four, two cylinder here. Uh, you got a grab and you got the uh, tuna tubes. You got rocket launchers, a ton of rocket launchers back there. You got the speakers back there. You got the two rear deck lights. Most of them come with one. Oh, yeah, I, I really do like that paint. That's nice. And these are pre-flex. You notice this here is curved. That helps when it comes down there. It pushes the water, then pushes it out this way. Then you got these pressure bands. These are your tubes. This probably got five chambers. You got your life ring. One, two, three, four. Four to five chambers. You got your lifting straights right there. Uh, okay, that's your pickup right here. There's your anchor drain right there. And they run really good alloy. There's a stamp on it there. Got a tandem max trailer, uh, tandem uh, load guides. Uh, the keel roller, again, you don't want to rest on that. That's not meant for that. Uh, you want this to touch that roller. That's when you're loading it back up again. You got the foot jack, which is good. This is two speed here. You got your tilt down anchor, Derek here. And the nice thing on that, it's already tilting down. So when you drop your anchor, you don't have to help it. It'll just fall down. You got plenty of cleats. They probably should start thinking about putting a cleat right where that first bumper is though that's where you need it just where it starts to bend top mount coupler tune 5 16 cents ball that's got the flat flip with the pin in it those are the good ones brake fluid you can check right up underneath here go like this pop this brake fluid good a lot of times for the factory they don't like for some reason to put brake fluid in there you got shackles there heavy duty chains cross them around uh, you got a round seven on that heavy duty trailer you got a diesel heater in there there's your exhaust fan here it's a walk around like i say good visibility got the back windows you got the nice double doors uh four bunks here uh two by sixes four of them with slicks you got the gear about the oil hubs brown good white bad six lugs which is good heavier duty st 235 adr 16 so that helps your uh, capa towing capacity by going to the 16 and the 80, ADR. Uh, torsion axles, just done all four. Then we'll go over here and get inside, do a quick run out here. And we're gonna put probably trim limiters on these so you can't hit the dang motor on the back of that. You gotta have long legs. There you go. Got the little slider that goes in there. Maybe they tape this off so it didn't scratch. That was smart. Stainless steel, rod holders, cup holder, tackle holder, nice trays, uh, battery charger, hook up right there, play table, gonna add accessories on through here, cup holders again, that's one nice thing they do. Uh, then we got a like a fish box, here's your primer bulbs, pump them up real good, there you go. Got a drawer, open this up, there's your battery, you got it, you got room there, maybe. If you change trays, you get two more batteries in there. I, yeah, I've put four batteries in one of these before. See, uh, what I tell you, he said, and I go by what he says. Yep. Last time I did, we sank out here. That's no, right. I, was that right? Was I it you know. or somebody else? I don't know. I haven't sunk Probably a in a very long time. Oh, last week? Come on. Oh, come on. Yeah. Down riggers. <laughs> Around here, it's a long time. <laughs> uh, 
silly guy. <laughs> anyway, Around the get... corner. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just pull up. In the gravel there. In the gravel right there. Another happy customer there. Okay, like you got that lights. Boat. Yeah, that nice ride. Oh, you want to see the lights? And then right power, here. Give oh. me some power. And you got your fish box. Okay, give me some power. Give me some power. Oh, we got lights. You got lights up there, you got lights there, you got lights there, you got lights there, look at the lights. Woohoo, pretty, 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 pretty. Uh, anyway, so this is the fish box. This runs off a macerator that goes into here, and they do have the drain here. So, what this one's for, and say this is full, that's a lot to be pumping out. So, if you, you can hold off until you get home, then you can undo that plug, undo that plug. Then up there you have a plug under that door, which I'll show you. And you got a plug up by the toilet towards me. So that drains into that one, that drains into that one, that drains into this one. So if you take that out and you tilt the boat up and undo the plug in the back, it will all drain out instead of having to pump it out with the pump. And there's your, I think your wastewater. Right there, pump it out at the dock. Here's your point one, our RS-35. Arrow always goes frontwards, did that. See, they finally put a seal strip on that. Hatch, LED light, halo. Oh, look, at that, yeah. look at that antenna, wow! <laughs> wow! Okay, there's where your uh, spool, you got a spool winch, which is good, good drains in there. See how the lights are? Pretty, pretty, pretty. And, this is how you fill your diesel here, which I don't even think there's diesel fuel. Oh my God, there is! Can you? I can't believe it. They what? My God, did you add diesel or was there some in here? Put diesel? Would the diesel come from fucking New Zealand? Well, I didn't think, but that's that long. Oh, oh, he's actually put diesel in there. Yeah, no over at uh pacific pride oh did they out. get it it was a data card they it wouldn't take your card the card re reader got flip up seats got uh 12 volt powerpoint right here oh god not one of these uh then you got your thermostat right over here we'll dink with that when we get out there uh speakers again you got your simrad you fuse into this is a good one the apollo i think they call it cup holders where you need them the 6 y 5 the stop button for your autopilot i think that's a horn button oh that's for the lights see right there and oh vhf uh remote you got trim tabs here's your breaker for your windlass turn all these off what is that a 16 inch yeah man that's a big screen Evo 3, NS2, as you guys spin dial. This is nice when you add autopilot, this feature, and to zoom in on your GPS. And there's your toilet. And then, right up here, there's your flusher right there, and there's your valve, and there's your overflow. That year it will indicate if the toilet's full you'll go and start pumping it out and then up underneath here is your holding tank and your valves got to be open which it is okay so anyway this one here if you put this here down in there there's a plug that's a plug i'm telling you that and then there's a valve under here too that you got to dump it has to be like this to dump out and then you put this here and then right in here when we open that when we get all this stuff out of here that's where there's another plug in the back so you want to make sure you put this plug this plug in but when you wash it if you do wash it on the inside you got to take that plug out this plug and let it go to the back one so then we'll do the electronics then we'll do the running when we're on the water boat doctor out